Dritz so. We return. At present, your reality is approaching the immutable date in late December of your Gregorian calendar. This is the time when your reality is to be rid of any alternate timelines, which until now have been used by your dark cabal to manipulate your reality. This riddance creates the means for the light to transform your world. This transformation will be preceded by the introduction of new governance and a new financial system for your planet. This flurry of activity leads to a formal disclosure announcement of our benevolent presence and the opportunity for us to broadcast vital information to you regarding the upcoming mass landings and your return to full consciousness. This stream of revelations will include broadcasts from the Agarthans concerning the nature of Gaia as a living being and of your true history going back to the settling of Lemuria some 900,000 years ago. This knowledge will help put into context why you are being returned to your natural state of full consciousness and will prepare you for your coming reunion with the Agarthans of Inner Earth. All that is happening around and above you is setting the stage for our formal arrival on your shores. This global mass landing watershed event marks the beginning of your preparation for migrating to the crystal cities of Inner Earth, where your ascension to full consciousness will be completed. Full consciousness allows you to live in divine right relationship with your home world and to travel to the other water worlds of your solar system to set up global societies within them. Prior to your incarnation here, your life contract included the option for you to take up residence on one of these water worlds, or to remain on Gaia and create an Earth-based galactic society with the Agarthans. These new planetary societies will conjoin to forge a new star nation and our role is simply to be the mediators and mentors of this great venture. You will learn that our joint history has many such instances where this happened before. With the wisdom contained in the Book of Understandings you can bring your enormous creativity to bear on setting up your own unique star nation. Once you have taken up Federation membership, as did the Agarthans long ago, you will be in a position to begin carrying out the directives conferred on you by heaven. These directives enable you to formally cement the agreements expressed in the Treaty of Ankara. The former children of Ankara are to receive light bodies and with them, ascend to full consciousness. This will create the energies for transforming this entire galaxy into light. This goal lies behind the series of divine actions that are, even now, affecting this whole region of physicality. The dark is on general retreat as we enter a new great galactic year for this aspect of physicality and we rejoice as we watch the way the light is able to transform such a wide swath of this sector of physicality. One of the wonders you are shortly to explore is the untold diversity of life in each of the thousands of galaxies that dot this part of physicality. Indeed, one of our greatest joys is conferring with each other as we watch the magical unfoldment of everything touched by the light. At this time your perceptions are still subject to an imposed xenophobia which makes you suspicious and often fearful of what lies around you in this galaxy and beyond. However, once in full consciousness, you will be amazed at what heaven has produced on the planets of the innumerable star systems which fill the immensity of galaxy upon galaxy. Our science and exploration teams daily report on new discoveries. Physicality is a vast and endlessly enthralling smorgasbord of diversity and adventure that is presently way beyond your imagining, and we long to share it with you and assist you in your early missions to those civilizations that long to partake of what you will have so valiantly regained, full consciousness. This divinely bestowed service will link us into an immense union that extols the love and light emanating ceaselessly from Ian. We are in awe of, and inspired by those beings who in great love brought forth physicality and set out the details of the divine plan. Blessings. We are your ascended masters. We come in the light of many wonderful things that are happening around this blessed globe. Our gracious associates are in the final stage of processing those agreements which will bring you your new governance and your worldwide prosperity. They work in concert with their Agarthan counterparts who are also focused on the best way to manifest these first requisites. Decades ago, Heaven informed us that this time was to witness the birth of a new freedom for you and with it, the unshackling of your personal sovereignty. The new form of governance promised you is to quickly follow this up with actions that enforce the full legality of your sovereign state. You are to become a major player in the daily operations of this new governance, and as you can see, this stands in direct contrast to your present citizenship role. Presently, 
government is the stooge of powerful special interests, which have a monopoly on shaping and directing the outcome of all policies and government direction. Your major player status will be enabled by a new communications technology which will create a constant town hall relationship between you and the new government. In this setup, special interests need not apply. We have long been champions of certain freedoms which we consider sacred. Each of you is a sacred vessel who embodies a divine spark of life and intelligence given to you by the Creator. This divine inheritance is the reason for all we do to raise up your consciousness, so that you can at last join with your sacred brethren of spirit who exist in profusion throughout the length and breadth of physical creation. Heaven has decreed that this is the time for you to join this divine realm, and to exercise your talents and abilities to unfold physicality. This gives us much joy as we recognize that this means our great work is nearly done. What is happening to your planet is reflected throughout your solar system. It is time for us all to take up the sacred call of heaven and return in grace to full consciousness. We, as Ways Howers, have guided you to this magnificent moment. We know that the actions being taken will create the conditions where we can once again openly meet you and teach you about the true ways of heaven and the many sacred tasks that the peoples of this world have been so solemnly given. To assist us in this, we are joined by your spiritual and space families, so that together we can complete the home stretch of your return to full consciousness. We look forward to being your guides, and helping you find the best way to fulfill the sacred duties given to us by heaven. These decrees of Ian await us all, and with them, a most glorious time in our history. Today we continued our weekly messages. The events paving the way for first contact are ready to manifest. Let us together use these auspicious times to bring into being a new epoch for humanity. Let us indeed joyously respond to the grand clarion call of heaven. Know, dear ones, that the countless supply and never-ending prosperity of heaven are indeed yours. So be it Salamat Gajan. Salamat Jah. Syrian for B1 and B enjoy.